for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Welcome back to our series on the basics of CSS. In the last video, we saw how to create a class style to go along with what we've already learned about creating tag styles. So those are the two basic kinds of styles that we're going to work with right now. Later on, we're going to talk about what are called ID styles, and specifically working with div statements and ID styles. But now we know everything we need to know to create a class style and to create a tag style. What remains is learning about some of the properties that you can use inside of either tag or class styles. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit here. And I'm going to hit enter a few times. And I'm just going to make a st class style and call it sample. And I'm going to use this as an example of um, how we can set some of the different uh, properties up inside of um, a style sheet. Now, most of my font formatting properties actually begin with font. And you can see here that there are quite a few properties that go along with the font property. Um, we've got font family, which you can use to specify the actual font that you're going to use. In this case, I'm going to select Arial Helvetica and Sans Serif, but there are other options here. And you can also come down here and edit the font list to create your own font sets. And basically, when there are multiple fonts in here, it's, what you're saying is, this is your preferred font. But if the computer that is reading this web page doesn't have Arial, my second preferred font would be Helvetica. So, for instance, older Macintosh computers that didn't have Arial as a font will default to Helvetica. And finally, if they don't have either Arial or Helvetica, use the system font sans serif. So I'm going to go ahead and close that off with the semicolon. Always remember, your punctuation is important. Periods begin class styles. Curly brackets enclose property value statements. A colon will separate the property name from the property value. And a semicolon is the punctuation mark that ends a property value statement. I'm going to hit enter. And then the next property would be font size. And this will allow me to set the font size. And again, we've mentioned before, you can size fonts proportionally, or you can size fonts in a fixed manner. I'm going to go ahead and just select 12 pixels there. That's a fixed font. In the next video, we're going to talk about the difference between proportional sizes for fonts and uh, fixed sizes for fonts. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter there. And then I'll go ahead and type font. You can see some of the other options that are in here. The two that are, um, some of these are not supported by all browsers. For example, Internet Explorer doesn't support the font size adjust property or the font stretch property, but it does uh, su um, support most of them. I can select font weight, and this will allow me to make it bold. And if I wanted to make it italic, that's the font style. So if I select font style, I'll be able to choose italic. And obviously, since I have both font weight and font style here in the same style, this is going to be both, the text that would be formatted, this would be both bold and italic. The fifth property that has to do with fonts is actually doesn't begin with the word font. It's color. And color allows me to set the font color. And I'll go ahead and select any one of these fonts here. And uh, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and select blue there. And you'll see the color is indicated there. And now I'm going to close off my style. And go ahead and, go ahead and save it. And now I'm going to come along. And I'm going to format a piece of text with my new style. So I'm just going to go ahead and click here and hit Enter. 
and type out this is some new text and then go ahead and highlight it and since this is in a tag style it's a class style I'm going to come right here and select that and there you can see that style has been applied to that piece of text so those are your basic and I'll go ahead and save that those are your basic font formatting properties in CSS. Font family to define the font. Font size for the font size. Font weight to make it bold. Font style if you wanted an italic. And just the plain old color option if you want to change the font color. And again, in the next couple of videos we're going to talk about the difference between proportional font sizes and uh, fixed font sizes. And we're also going to talk about how these colors are defined here. Also, if you're interested in seeing the high definition 1280 by 720 videos, please go to createthenet.com. When we upload these videos to video sharing services, they always shrink the video size down and decrease the quality so they come out a little bit fuzzy. If you go to the uh, website, you can see the full resolution versions of these videos.